my apologies. I, I shut the recorder off too soon, so I, I have to make a whole separate video because I don't really know how to edit or anything like that for just Armour Motors car. I just about forgot it and went straight to BMG. <laughs> and here I was talking a lot about it. Alright, this is a 2003. You know, it sort of reminds me of a Nissan exterior that's sitting outside. That belongs to my mom and dad. It's uh, got really nice high metallic green. I think Wallace had a real lot, a whole lot of metallic in his paint too. I like it. I like his rims. If I was judging on style, I'd give this an overall points on the vest. It'd be hard. It'd be between him and uh, Wall. But for my taste, I like this. Yeah, I like that. So he's this pretty normal stuff. Got McPherson strut on the front. See my training arm rear. Oh yes, here we go. I think this one has the small, yeah, the smallest the engine. It looks like it's got the biggest vehicle too. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how it does. Let's see. Inline four. A 2.2 liter uh, overhead cam three valve. Got 69.3 on the engine reliability. Got lightweight forge on the connecting rods and forge on the pistons. Oh, it's got a VVL. It's got that VTEC in it. Looks like a Nissan with a VTEC engine in it. A Honda engine. <laughs> uh, direct injection. That's, that's fancy in 2003. I'm glad it's not turbocharged. I like natural aspirated engines. Ben's looking at that too. He knows that turbochargers put a strain on the engine. Okay. So we got a four cylinder, six cylinder, eight cylinder, and twelve cylinder. Uh, he went completely different from everybody else. Like I say, it, it's in the rules. You can do this. He chose a manual five-speed. Let's see how Sandra likes changing gears. <laughs> hey, I love a manual, but I like my automatic in that Camry too. I think as long as I have one of each, I'm happy. It's transverse all-wheel drive, this LSD, zero to sixty, two and ten point five seconds. You got the best economy, and that's. Pretty boxy looking vehicle and pretty big too, 25.6 miles per gallon. It gets way better gas module with that Nissan exterior gets. I think the best I can do is 20 and a half. He's got 205, 85-16s on uh, medium compound tires. He's got alloy rims. Salt disc two piston in the front, drums in the rear. He's got a back seat with no headrest. Uh, standard interior basic CD plus one quality on that. Negative quality on advanced 2000 safety, but it's the safest one here. Electric power steering, ABS. It's got some pretty basic stuff in it, but it's also got some pretty fancy stuff in it. So, yeah. Okay, now on to the driving part.